Hey guys, and welcome to another Techit tutorial. Uh, this time we have a, a new energy, infinite energy source or EMC source, uh, whatever you want. Uh, you can use this this machine for both of them. Uh, this thing here is a uh, wood chopper that I have uh, invented and made a video about it. Uh, some time ago, uh, I will add a annotation to how to build this. Uh, but basically, this uh, grows trees and automatically chops them down. I'm going to show you what it does. So it add, uh, applies a sapling and then 20 bone meal to it. And if it doesn't uh, make the uh, tree from that, then it won't won't. <laughs> Or, or chops the uh, sapling. Okay, so there it grew the tree, and then the logs get back in here. And the sapling will be sucked through these transposers. Uh, there's a lever somewhere in here. Yeah, there it is. It stopped now, so that it d doesn't make that ticking sound from the timer. All the time, and there's a two minute timer here. But that's not the point. This is the point. So we have the logs here and this will provide them uh, constantly. Just we need to add, uh, apply the bone mill or add, add the bone mill there. So now we can build the uh, uh, new one, our new energy source. We are going to use the moose room for that. And the energy condenser and uh, use the logs to make uh, the um, bowls. And then we can get... Uh, mushroom stew out of the mushroom so let's get going we need to first make the uh let's i need to grab some of these uh, let's not take all of them so let's f first set this automatic crafting table to make uh locks oh sorry planks and then we need to add a redstone engine and a lever to it and then a wooden transport pipe, stone transport pipe, and then another crafting table, which will make the uh, bowls for us. And then let's turn off the rain, uh, another uh, redstone engine, and a lever to it, and then wooden transport pipe, stone transport pipe, and then a deployer I will point it this way because this is where the moose room will be staying. So this will get the bowls from uh, from this uh, automatic crafting table and will uh, right click or get the mo or stew out of the moose room. So now we can place the moose room. Uh, let's use these to give him some uh, a place to stay like that and let's drop the moose room in its place okay does he seem happy <laughs> some of you guys uh, mentioned that the uh, pita will be beast of about my <laughs> my machines but uh, let's see uh, so next a filter pointing this way so we are going to uh, draw the uh, full mushroom stew from the uh, uh, deployer so in for that we are going to need a bowl and uh, let's grab the stew and we can set the filter only to draw out the uh, full uh, or the mushroom stews not the bowls and then i need some more stuff so let's grab the pneumatic tubing somewhere there some red alloy wire, a timer, and uh, the. Uh, I'm going to take that from from here. The geothermal generator and the. Uh, I need the lava cell. Okay, so from the here we pipe the uh, uh, mushroom stew into a uh, condenser, which will create lava cells for us and then we can uh, draw them out 
by using a filter and uh, let's set this also to draw the uh, uh, lava cells so the stew will uh, will not accidentally make its way in here <coughs> I'm sorry about that uh, and then we add some more pneumatic tubing and the geothermal generator on top of it so the uh, lava cell will enter here and then let's grab oh they need those I don't need those and those let's grab an MF MFSU I can type and a glass fiber cable so there and do that and that okay now we have a way to store the energy uh, one thing we need is I need a lever no, not like that like that and we need to uh, give these guys some redstone power and that we can do with this like that and if I place a bowl did I have some empty bowls with me now okay but we can start these so this will uh, draw out the, uh, the automatic crafting table draw out the locks from the here and make planks out of them like that and this will create the bowls out of those they will soon be added here like that and oh I need to turn that on of course and here comes the bowls they will enter here let's see from this side and the, the deployer will fill them all up with the stew it just happens so fast so uh, you can't really see and then this one will get, get the stew and make the lava cells out of those as you can see it generates this and the lava cells will be drawn out here and enter the geothermal generator which will then power the MFSU as you can see that's really a simple machine and then I will of course have this on ro rolling or running and uh, this will provide the wood for the, uh, for the uh, whole machine and if you want to use this for EMC you just change this into something else and diamond is a uh, popular choice and now you just wait here is the uh, EMC that has been generated over time and because diamond is uh, EMC value is 8000 compared to the lava cells 182 oh, sorry 128 it will take some time uh, and you if you want to generate the EMC out of these or diamonds you can ditch these you don't need these but uh, I'm going to use the this to make the energy feels a little cheating if you do that but yeah this works like like so uh, let's turn that on so you can see how the uh, there goes the uh, the saplings and they will end up here through some piping on the uh, under here like so uh, yeah I'm going to add an annotation to that uh, while I was building this uh, ah never mind I'm not going to show you that that's for an, another video but yeah this uh, one is uh, wrapped uh, happy how it turned out uh, and uh, hopefully you enjoyed this and uh, I'll see you on the next video.